Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to sell sugar. We are going to top off our chickens and put the rest of our remaining barley from our silo into our grain mill. We're going to make a couple of really nice purchases that came about in a very timely manner. And we're going to then probably move into August and harvest our wheat. Okay, so lots of stuff to do here. So let's take a look, first of all, at the sales. In this case, Axial Flow 7150 has come up for sale. This is a, a really cool combine. It's got, um, uh, if we, uh, let's see, it's got, it comes with the twin wheels already. I mean, I don't know, the standard wheels would probably be fine in that too. It, it does only have 10,000 capacity though, and there doesn't give me an option to increase the capacity, which kind of sucks a little bit. So it's 449 horsepower, um, but also there's this Capello uh, Diamant 12 header, corn header, uh, and it's a nine meter header. Uh, that's on sale for 50,000. It's normally like 88, I think. So that's tempting. And, and there's even like a self-propelled slurry tanker, but I don't think we need that. I'd be interested in this if its capacity was equivalent to the tank that we currently have, but our tank is currently like 30,000 liters. And I'm not really too interested in that. So, okay, so this is the 7150. Let's just look at uh, the combines here first. Okay, so that is the cheaper case. The thing I don't like about it, though, is that it doesn't have a huge capacity. It's only a 10,000 liter, whereas the big case is 14,000 liter with probably the option. Oh, I don't even see an option to increase the capacity on this either. Hmm. I thought there was a case that allowed you to increase the capacity on it. I mean, that's still not a bad deal, though, because um, it's normally $300,000, and right now it's on sale for $122,000. it has got 40 months on it, but, you know, that's not, a, that's not that big of a deal because we don't, you know, the combines we only use a couple times a year. We're not using them every single day like we are with the tractor, so I'm not too terribly concerned about the age on that. And for the price, that's pretty darn good. Um, So... You know, so this is 10,000. What we currently have is for our second combine is we have this Deutsch Far, which is, is 8,500. So that only holds 15,000 more liters or 1,500 more liters. Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, our big boy here does 18,000 liters. <laughs> it's, it holds a lot of grain. But the thing is, is, you know, we're, we're really starting to get into the arable crop game here and we could certainly use a little bit better combine than we have here. So, I mean, I guess we could always buy the case and then, you know, if something better comes along, we can swap out and upgrade at that point. And I'll probably go ahead and then sell that Deutsch far anyways, because I don't think we really need three combines. I mean, we could, I suppose, but not probably not, though, until we get into a situation where we have three active fields all going at the same time, which we do not currently, uh, we're not currently in that situation. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do it, but uh, let's go ahead and sell our sugar first because that'll give us, you know, um, some more money to play with. Um, so that way, you know, we can see if we can pull this off without having to go into debt. So we'll start with that. Let's go ahead and open this door. Uh, we're going to jump into the man. Let's try that again. We're going to jump into the man. Let's try that again. We're going to jump into the man. What in the heck, game? I'm I'm not looking at the... There we go. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what's up with that. It likes to put me into the big M instead of the vehicle that I'm trying to have it put me in. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's go over uh, here. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to 
our warehouse and let's get the sugar starting to spawn so we have a full stack of it when we get back over here. I yeah, hmm. Hold on a second. If we look at this and we look at this. Yeah, sugar is definitely highest in July. 527 is the high price. So it looks like the grocery store is going to give us a price of 530 uh yeah, 533 is the highest price we can get, but it's also dropping. The other thing we could do is hold out until July 2nd or 3rd to see if those prices go up, but then we could also, there's a very high probability we'll lose the opportunity to purchase that, that combine. Um, tell you what, let's roll the dice. Let's just roll the dice and see if the if the combine's still in. Yeah, I'm still going to go into here and set the sugar to to spawn. Sugar, sugar, sugar. There we go. Okay, change output mode to spawning. And let's turn this off uh, because you know because that co that case combine is not a significant upgrade for us. It's a, it's a small upgrade for us, but it's not a significant upgrade for us. It's only going to give us a 1,500 more liters from what we have now. If we miss out on it, I'm not really going to be heartbroken. Okay, so, so basically, again, if we look at this, the sugar is selling. Uh, the best price on sugar right at the moment is $533. Dollars. Okay. Let's see what happens here. So we're going to sleep through the next day. We might lose that corn header too, but I, I don't know if I'm going to buy that corn header anyways. I mean, it's not a bad deal, but there's a, a case header that's, that's bigger for less money brand new than that Capella header was. And especially if we get a, a case combine, I'd rather have a matching header. Not that that's that big of a deal. All right, let's see what the prices are doing now. So now we have 540. Okay, so that, that went up substantially uh, from what it was yesterday. So now that is now our high price, but it is dropping, but that's not a problem if we, you know, if we sell within the next hour, I don't think. Okay, is the combine still here for sale? It is not. Okay, we lost out on that combine. Um, all right. You know what? Like I said, I'm okay with that. I'm it's, it just wasn't something I really, really wanted. Now, if it would have been the larger case or another larger combine, I probably would have done it for sure. But since it wasn't, I think we're just going to continue on here and just keep our eyes peeled for, you know, other stuff that comes up. So with that being said, I'm going to run over and grab the curtain side out of the shed and let's start selling some sugar down to the bakery make ourselves some money. Okay, so 21,638 for that first load of sugar. Let's go get another one. All right, another 21,638. Okay, what we have to do now is we have to wait until uh, the top of the hour for the rest of the sugar to be distributed over here from the sugar plant. 
I can't pick it up directly from the sugar plant because um, the sugar beet storage shed is right in the way of the uh, of the trigger point. Um, so all we're going to do here is we're just going to speed up time until 9 a.m. Hopefully the price doesn't uh, fluctuate too badly in that time frame. Okay, so 9 a.m. and now the other batch of sugar made it over here. There we go. There's another full load. Another 21,634. That brings us up to 64.8 ish. Okay, that should be it for the sugar. Let's take a look at the sugar plant. Uh, yeah, it's done with the warehouse, and in the sugar plant, it is also out. Okay, so this is the final load. 8,100, excuse me, 112. All right, so if we go into here and we look at sold products, $74,467 off of our, our excess sugar. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the curtain side away and we're going to top off the uh, sugar plant with more sugar beets. Well, we're not precisely over it, but <laughs> I guess it's filled it up. Yeah, here, let's uh, see if we can. How did I do that last time? I think I might have come in from the other side, actually. I don't remember. It's been a little while since we've done this. There, that's a little more realistic. Okay, so this should just about fill up the beet shed. Now we have one percent left. Okay, um, yeah, so it's completely full, uh, filled. And if we go back to here and look at sugar beets, uh, we have twenty-one thousand seven hundred sixty-three liters left, plus this tiny little bit that's inside of the uh, the trailer here, which we'll just dump back in on the other end. So that's going to hold us in good stead for, I don't know, two, three, maybe four-ish more in-game years before we completely run out of beets and sugar. And then, you know, if we're still going strong at that point, 
we might have to uh, harvest some more sugar beets. But I'm not really too worried about that for now. If we, you know, one thing we could do, and I'm not saying I'm going to do this, but I've looked at the possibility, is we could, <coughs> excuse me, we could buy 69, which has a crop of sugar beets on it. I want, I, I think I'm going to get 69 anyways, eventually. Um, so yeah, we could do that. And then that would give us another pretty good sized crop of sugar beets that would last several more in game years. And then we would of course get the field. So that, that's, that might happen. Uh, we'll have to see. It's a possibility, but like I said, I'm not necessarily going to do that. It's just an option for us. Very good. So that takes care of the sugar beets. What we're going to do now is we're going to park the tra uh, the cramp trailer here, and then we need to run a load of... Oh, actually, you know what? Never mind. While we still have this trailer, let's pull the rest of our barley out of the silo because next month we're going to harvest our wheat. So let's just get whatever's left in here. We've got about 10,000 liters-ish of barley left in here. I went the wrong direction. Yeah, 10,020 liters. So we'll grab that. We'll top the chickens off. And then if there's anything left afterwards, we'll just dump that in the flour mill. Keep the flour mill going until next month when we have all the wheat. Actually, now that I think about it, though, I think the chickens are still in pretty good shape. Let's just go take a look here. So if we take a look at our chickens, uh, yeah, they're, they're about half full. So yeah, I'm just going to top them off. Let's just get it done. And then all of the wheat that we harvest can go straight into the mill. Well, we'll fill the mill up. I don't know if I'll fill the mill up all the way. We'll see. I probably should not do that. I should probably put some of it in our silo just because we're going to need it, you know, in about six, six, seven months from now to feed the chickens again. So, yeah, we'll put, um, we'll put about 20,000 liters in the silo. And then the rest, I think, will go right into the grain mill. And then, of course, if we do manage to fill the grain mill up and have some left over, which I don't think we will, but we might, in that situation, then we can... We have 671 liters. Okay. Uh, in that situation, you know, then, of course, we can put more in the silo as well. I don't think I've ever actually filled this grain mill all the way up, though, with grain... But this will hopefully keep it going with barley flour anyways until we get our wheat. Let's take a look at the grain mill. Uh, 670. Yeah, it's going to be close. There might be a, a, a small period of time where it, it goes down before we get the wheat in. But that should keep it going for the most part. That silage is completely full there. Uh, all right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run a load of slurry over to the biogas plant and you know what too i might wait another day or two before we do that let's get uh, let's get this trailer put away i don't think i need it for anything else and then we'll just take a look and see if um I want to wait on the slurry or if I want to, you know, do it down. It's about how much the biogas plant currently still has processing. But the, you know, having the large cow barn like we do now has allowed me to keep the biogas plant pretty much going full time with slurry. I have to take a load down every month, but not that that's a big deal. But, you know, it's just taking that 
what is essentially cow piss with a, <laughs> with a little bit of dookie in there and turn it into money for us. How about that, huh? Because we're not using slurry for fertilizer at all. We're using digestate for that. Just in case some of you might be watching for the first time and are wondering why I'm not using it for fertilizer, that is the reason. We get a lot of slurry, way more than I can actually need from the biogas plant. Uh, I'm sorry, not slurry, digestate. That's what I meant to say is digestate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Functionally, they're both the same thing in this game. All right, let's take a look at biogas plant. Oh, it's completely out of slurry. Yeah, okay. So we're going to we're going to take a load of slurry down there. I'll just keep keep using the man truck for that. Okay, that fills us all the way up. And there's still 4,200 liters left in there. So I'll probably just come back and grab that and take it down there too. Might as well. gonna do we're gonna put a road in here make this official there we go it's as easy as that okay that gives our biogas plant um, 25,237 liters of slurry. That'll keep it running. Oh, for the next few days anyway. Suppose I could put a little road there too, but now nah, we'll just cut across the grass. Very good. Let's go put the slurry tank away and the man truck away. And then we are going to sleep through July 3rd and into August 1st. So we can get going on, whoops, sorry car, on our wheat harvest. I will see you guys on August 1st, unless something significant comes up in the sales. Okay guys, we're back. It's August 1st and I, um, we have oats to harvest too. I completely forgot that the oats would be ready to harvest now. So we do have three fields to harvest. Um, so. That's not a bad thing at all. And um, what I think we'll do then is we'll have, we'll probably put the the Kloss Combine uh, over here on 57 and then move it directly to 56. And we'll have the older uh, Deutsch Far get started on 68. And if the Kloss Combine finishes both of these before the Deutsch Far is done, then we'll bring it over here to help finish that up there. One of the reasons why I want to do it that way is because uh, we don't need to use the header trailer to get to the uh, cloths over to these fields. And technically, we don't really need it to get it over here, too. I can get it over there uh, by just doing a little bit of cross-country driving. So, uh, yeah, I, I just I completely forgot that the oats would also be ready. So <laughs> that's, that's good, though. Like I said, that's not a bad thing at all. Okay, so let's get set up here. We're going to start by um, getting the Kloss Combine out. And uh, we have to get the header put on it, of course. I'm also going to lease... Um, let's do this right now. This is what's in the sale, by the way. It's, not, it's just a, a tiller, not, nothing we are interested in. Um, I'm also going to lease a another dolly should probably just buy it it's not that expensive uh, because then that allows me to use my tractor with 
um, the big cramp trailers. And uh, it's only nine thousand bucks. So yeah, let's just le let's just buy this. That way we have. Well, I guess we could lease to own it. Yeah, what the heck? We'll lease to own it. Okay. Um, I don't really. I mean, the other option would be to lease a big truck. You know, like another Mack truck, but that's a lot more expensive. So I think what we'll do is we'll just use a dolly and one of our tractors. Okay, so, you know, since these are already on the trailer, I guess we might as well just take them out there with the trailer. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I did do my second hay cutting off camera. And I'll probably do the third hay cutting off camera too. If that wasn't already obvious. Yep, look at that. Those oats are ready to go. Fantastic. We're not going to do anything with the oats for now. We're just going to put them in our silo and let them sit in there until we get our cereal factory going. Okay, so what I think I'll do here is let's pull up to about this spot and then we'll undo the header trailer. We have to be careful not to drive on our crops, of course. Um, that's not precisely lined up, but it'll do. All right, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to come in from this corner and then swing it around. And we also have to hook up the PTO, too. There we go. All right, let's get her unfolded. Should be set to swath mode. There's be no reason that I would have changed that. So it looks like that's good. For it to finish spitting straw there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and we're going to load up. This is field 57, right? Yeah, 57. Class combine load course activate. And we want to make sure that the target on this is set to 57 load. And this will be fine once I get the truck set up, but we should be able to go ahead and turn this guy loose. All right, go to it. Fantastic. Now let's get back to the man truck which is right here. And he's ready to go with the cramp trailer. Oh, it looks like I need to hook up the lines though. There we go. I'm gonna turn off traffic for the harvest here because they just end up ultimately being a pain in the neck. Okay, I'm gonna take care of that. Uh, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to combine mode. You are going to go to field 57 load, and you're going to unload in uh, the main silo. So we'll put, I want to put at least 20,000 liters in the main silo before we start putting the rest into the grain mill. All right, and then we should be able to just turn you on. We don't need this on and let you do your thing. Okay, the combine's coming around the corner there. He's just going to wait until the combine gets to, I think I have it set to 70% or maybe 80%. Oh, yeah, right, here we go, pre-call, 80%. Okay, so once the combine gets to 80%, then the truck kicks in and starts moving its way to the combine. I think the default's on that 60%, but I set it to 80%.
Very good. All right, let's get started next with the uh, the Deutsch Far. And what we'll do here is let's connect the, or use rather the JCB. And we'll hook that up to the dolly and get it out there with the trailer. Okay, so we'll get this guy out to the road here. And I want to just actually, I just want to send you to field 68 load and then we'll get you set up once you get there. Okay, it looks like our, our uh, Kloss combine is in the process now of unloading into the next guy. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I remember that. It, it kind of does this weird thing on the first part of the field there. Looks like it's okay, though. Okay, I'll meet you guys out of field 68. Okay, let's park the header right over here. Looks like we're on swath mode. Beautiful. All right, I'll set you to field 68 load. And we want to put you on field 68. Uh, which one? 28 foot header. Yeah, 28 foot header. That's the one we got. Load course. Look at that gorgeous wheat. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful wheat. Okay, you, we want to put on combine mode to field 68 load. And I want you just to unload into the grain mill. And I think that's all we need to do. So we'll just turn you on. I think we're good to go, folks. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to babysit everybody. Um, we might want, I might get a second trailer. Uh, we could actually get two more trailers going. Um, I'll probably do that. We'll, I'll, I'll kind of keep an eye on them, see how, how well they're keeping up. Excuse me. Um, and uh, if need be, we'll get two more trailers going. Uh, but the plan will be, you know, just to keep the, Deutsch Far working here on field 68 will when the Kloss combine is finished on 57 then we'll move it over to 56 and do the oats and those are going to go straight into the uh, silo and we're just going to sit on them for now until we get our cereal factory going. Okay so with that being said I'm going to officially let you guys go here and um, but what I'll do is I will show you uh, some of the uh, grain harvest here in a time lapse uh, to end out the video so with that being said guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye